Hello? Hey! Oh, hey, I, remember, I remember you. This is YouTube, right? Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a long time, actually. Seven months. You might be wondering, Nick, what have you been doing the past seven months? Well, this is what I've been doing. Boom! Dang, that was sick. Did it transition? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> so for the studio tour, um, I'm just gonna go like section by section. And the first section to talk about is this first shelf that I had built. Up top, um, just inventory of some shoes, like some I'm working on, some I haven't worked on yet, but just storage up here. Um, so I got a bunch of paint here. Uh, this Cretex airbrush paint I use on Vans and other suede shoes. I have a whole bunch of golden paint, uh, but to be honest, I haven't used a whole bunch of it because um, I kind of rely on spray paint for all my, my painting. So this is like a just in case kind of uh, scenario, which is kind of crazy because golden paint's kind of expensive, which, <laughs> but I will use it on canvases. Um, so that's some paint. Then down here is a whole bunch of like randomness. Uh, so we got all the paint brushes, we have tape, cotton balls for shoes, like basically any prep work. And then all this Angelus paint I use is to paint my shoes, uh, like Nike Air Force Ones. And so yeah, this is another paint station. And then down here are like my paint pens. Um, I use Montana paint pens, a whole bunch of different colors. I primarily use black. Then we have a shoe box full of Posca pens, a lot of different colors. I'll use those for shoes as well. Basically this whole shelf is just markers, which I use all the time. I have this heat gun um, that will heat set all my paint. And so it just makes the drying time quicker and a little trash barrel for trash. As you can tell, little handy dandy hooks, dustpan, clean up my space, and then also a little tape for all my packing needs. All right, so moving on, we have this table. And as you can see, I got this drop cloth uh, to pretty much protect my table from all the paint splatter that I do. Looks like you missed. Just a little, I mean, it's on purpose. I gotta make the workplace look good, you know. I, I have to look like an artist too. <laughs> but yeah, this is where I paint shoes. And you know what, do you hear that, Ryan? No. Do you hear that? Wait, no, 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 come on. Don't do it. That sounds like a shoe no! customization. No! Model. It just, it's my channel. I, I make custom shoes for a living, so I just had to. Uh, the next up, this like standing desk. Uh, I think my mom honestly bought it for me like years ago on Amazon. It's, it can go down, it can go up. And this table kind of just like, well, it has wheels, but it follows me all around. Dang. If I'm like painting canvases, I can hold stuff. Um, or I'll put it in the middle and I'll put my canvases here and I'll do all my packing needs. Um, it's very versatile. Can you do the packing one more time? Wow, all right, all right. That's, just, that's how it's that's done. Like that's how it's done. Yeah. I can't give you all my secrets. It's actually sick. We link that. Yeah, I'll text my mom and be like, yo, where, uh, where'd you get this? Just link her phone number. <laughs> Please call my mom. <laughs> uh, mom, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Or maybe I will. Oh, well. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> uh, next up, I mean, this is a new addition to the to this space. I have signed jersey, which is it sounds like a flex. Well, it is. It's kind of a flex. <laughs> um, so I do a lot of well, a lot of my clients are in the NFL, which is saying it out loud kind of sounds crazy. <laughs> um, but I've had a couple people send me signed jerseys, which has been like super surreal. Um, and so some have written little messages or whatever, but 
I'll show you the canvases to each player. So we got Taylor's canvas. <sighs> He's going to hate, I can't pronounce his name, Olamide. Oh, if I said it wrong, I, I deeply apologize. Uh, we got Daryl Worley, Levi Wallace, Ben DiNucci, and Travis Homer. And so all that work, you know, I get tired of painting. You know, there's a lot of clients, a lot of work, a lot of hours. Sometimes you get a little tired. Sometimes you want to take a nap. And nothing better to take a nap on than... And guess who got this for me? Who? My mom. Oh, uh, gross, she's My mom. Legend. My mom really hooks it up. Uh, but honestly, I'll take like a 15, 20 minute power nap um, and be ready to go. Are you more of like a power napper or like, do you have to take like hour long naps? More of a four hour ruin your entire day type guy. Wake up just like. Yeah. Ugh. Completely disoriented. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I'm fortunate I can do like 20 minutes and be good to go. Dang, man. Why don't so, yeah. we do it right now? All right. All right, all right. I'll be back at 20. All right. 20 minutes. Nick, you got a tour, my guy. Oh, there's no way. There's what? no way. Did, Seems legit. Did it look like I was asleep? Yeah. Okay. Next up, uh, well, first, I got my first ever commissioned art piece. I know I do a lot of painting, but this is the first time someone's done a painting for me. Um, shout out to Reaper Supply. I'll link them. Um, phenomenal piece. I knew, uh, Crazy. Uh, crazy. Crazy. I found him on TikTok, hit him up. A week later, this painting shows up. Dang, man. First ever painting. Crazy. And then this is like a, a built-in desk. Um, honestly, I don't use it for a desk. It's more of just storage. And so down here are cardboard boxes, um, a little shelf of like all knickknacks and stuff, and then a little pile of clothes. My first ever denim jacket I painted. And also... Another flex, uh, Banigou and Pearson L. A couple more jerseys I had. I gotta get more frames. Okay, um, and then this is my little electronic station, if you will. Normally I film all my videos on this Canon 80D, uh, but if you didn't know, um, I got my boy <laughs> Ryan helping me film. Um, I'm using his camera, his lab mic, everything. Um, but normally I film it on this. I get a little tripod. I got a laptop that I actually just bought. Actually, Ryan kind of inspired me to buy this. The new 13 inch little, uh, little laptop right here. Ooh. And then also I got my iPad, which I use all the time for like drawing on photos or like mock-ups for canvases and stuff, or even Netflix when I'm eating or whatever. But uh, also this Logitech case is pretty dope. Um, you hear that? Not again, Nick, no! That sounds like an ad read, no! First things first, Logitech, I just wanted to say thank you for sponsoring this video. You know, myself being a one-man show over here, you know, I do all my editing, all the painting, all the marketing, all the, all the everything. And so I've learned to be like really efficient with my time. And honestly, this iPad and this Logitech combo case has been something that's made my lifestyle even more efficient. I use my iPad literally every day. Um, now most of the days it's me just watching Netflix or honestly when I'm painting like shoes or something, I can just um, mindlessly watch something in the background with the uh, uh, adjustable kickstand. You know, I can set it up, prop it up and no problem. That's like one of the main features I like. Um, I also use my iPad obviously for sketching, whether it's like drawing on photos, like this series I've done before, you know, dueling on photos or even uh, making new canvas ideas, you know, some clients want to see a rough draft beforehand or even for my own mind to be like, okay, how is this going to look like, you know? This kickstand like goes down to sketch mode and it's like super easy and it feels like organic, you know, it feels natural for my hand to be where it's at. But something that caught me off guard um, is this detachable keyboard. Um, this keyboard has now made my iPad something I can do emails with. Um, beforehand, I have to wait until I get home and like get on my computer, but now, you know, I can take a break from painting, bust out a couple of emails, and then go back to painting. And this keyboard makes the whole process a lot smoother. And what's rad is that when I'm all done, I can fold everything up and now the case is like protected. The keyboard becomes a part of the protection case. So I feel super confident throwing my bag and not having my iPad be damaged or anything else be damaged. Like I know obviously this is a paid segment, but I genuinely use this iPad case a lot. 
and it's made my life like a whole lot easier. So Logitech, I just wanted to say not only thank you for sponsoring this video and helping my career as a solo artist like take off, but also I just want to say thank you for sending me this case because I literally use it every day. So Logitech, um, I appreciate it. And if you wanted your own case, uh, there will be a link down in my description. So if you want to get one, please go ahead and um, yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let's get back to the video. Logitech, thank you once again. We're out. Um, moving up top, we've got a light for filming. Oh, this Bluetooth speaker, crucial. This thing put on blast, the whole studio's bumping. Dang. I'm painting, just vibing, and just like, hey, Ooh, hey, hey, hey. hey. You're not even painting, just dancing. <laughs> Uh, then here is a little packing area. Um, I use like this foam roll, if you will, to protect my canvases. Um, I use like this saran wrap to wrap them up. And then here's some more storage, some canvases I'm working on right now. And if you couldn't tell, this is the main attraction right here. This is what everyone wants to see. This is years in the making. Um, at first it was all color coordinated, but as I started using it and you have to like feel, I want this. It's like, oh, okay. And then I have to put it up there. And it's like, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a game or whatever. But yeah, all my spray paint I use. Um, and then down here, uh, just some packing supplies, another drop cloth. And um, yeah, that's my spray paint wall. And then I got my classic skateboard right here. Hit a little, uh, hit a little something, huh? Check. Man. Yeah, I, I, you don't have... Oh, you're going to do it anyway. Should I try a kickflip? Try a kick. Okay, this is first try. I haven't kickflipped in a long time. Oh. This is first try. Hey. All right, I'm going to try a trick for the first time ever today. Hey, all right. First try of the day. I'm trying to... No, I'm just... First try. <clears throat> and we're good. Shout out Logitech. That was for you. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, cool. Okay, um, this is the last part of the video, uh, my canvas wall. You know, I had the, uh, I was talking to the builders and like, do you want anything special or whatever? And I was like, honestly, I just need a blank wall. Because all I did is like put up these little anchor screws. And all I want to do is hang them up so I can stand up and paint and work on them. I don't want to be like, I don't look. I don't look like this. That looks awful. This is a that bad look. Painful and, and ugly. This is a bad look. Yeah. Goodness, look at him. There's no way you're gonna. Be... Yeah, that's not an artist. That's not an artist, man. That's not an artist. <laughs> Bro, please edit in a bunch of cracks and everything. <laughs> it literally looked like a bunch of cracks should have occurred. <laughs> Canvas wall, and then this might look like trash, but this is a crucial part of my studio. I use these big pieces of cardboard to lay on the ground and on the wall. So when I put my canvases up on it and spray paint, it doesn't get like everywhere. So this is a uh, pretty important, honestly. And this is the door, which Wait. I'm leaving. Uh, hopefully not for another seven months, but um, I am leaving for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Logitech, thank you for sponsoring this video. Ryan, thanks for filming. Hey, you're good. no problem. Hey, appreciate it. And, uh, we're back, baby. We're back. Let's go. Was that sick? That was, was awesome. That, was like, okay.